Trembanish Primary School acknowledges the traditional owners of this land on which we are gathered. And pay our respects to the elders both past and present. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our very first online assembly for Term 3. Well I'd like to ex uh, extend a very, very warm welcome to everybody back to school after the holidays. Um, when I use the word warm, I know it's absolutely freezing cold out there. So uh, just a reminder to rug up, keep warm and uh, pay particular and special attention when you're uh, crossing roads on the way home. Um, well first of all, um, some exciting news for this term. Um, if we think back uh, during the holidays, we had an election day and um, we conducted a fundraising barbecue at election day at the school here. And uh, we had lots of support from parents, we raised lots of money and when we do the final count we'll be able to uh, announce that and uh, also announce where we're going to direct those funds uh, into school resources to support our students learning. Well the parents that came along on the day, um, I'd like to acknowledge the work of David Horn, Pradeep uh, Kesavan. We had Maria Alvarez Acuna, Nayana Rao, we had Kelly Wishart, Rachel Champion, Mark Kallenberg, Stacey Johnson, Leanne Gary, and Helen Callanan. And I'd like to uh, make a special mention of uh, Ross Coles, who came along on the day uh, to give us a hand uh, with setting up very early in the morning, and also a special mention of thanks to um, uh, Michelle Wrigley, Mrs. Wrigley, who uh, did a lot of behind the scenes work organising, um, well, the plan for the day, so we went off without a hitch. Um, also, a special mention to Encore Pizza in Cranbourne, and uh, supported us by uh, cutting up our onions. They saved us from uh, performing that, uh, yeah, very messy job. And um, from Stuart from Market Fresh, or Fresh Value Market, I should say, in Cranbourne. We'd just like to acknowledge their support. Um, and I know also Mel and Amanda, I'm not going to forget you two because you were there on the day, also assisting again with a lot of the behind the scenes work. Uh, this week we have the Melbourne Footy Club coming into the school to work with our students, uh, part of the Read Like a Demon program. So I know the um, children are going to have a lot of fun participating in the clinics and um, well, they're going to hear some stories read by the players as well. Um, on Friday the 22nd of July, and you'll get more information shortly about this, we'll be celebrating National uh, PJ, Pajama Day. Uh, we're going to uh, link that to a fundraising activity. We'll invite all our students and our staff uh, to wear their PJs, PJs on the day. But as I said, there'll be a lot more information coming out shortly about that. And could I just put a reminder out there uh, to students, uh, parents, uh, we do expect all children to attend school every day in the full school uniform. Um, we appreciate sometimes you know, things come up and you know, uniforms are not ready on the day, but if you can just send a uh, note through uh, to the home group teacher, that would be great. So, um, yeah, we we'll look forward to seeing all our students in full school uniform. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful week, and as I said, a really big warm welcome back to school to Term 3. Thank you, everyone.
Hi everyone, welcome back to term three. I hope you're ready for another riddle. Here is this week's. What can go up a chimney down, but can't go down a chimney up? See if you can work out the answer. Have 10 seconds thinking time and a chat with the person next to you. All right, this is a bit of a tricky one. What can go up a chimney down, but cannot go down a chimney up? The answer is an umbrella. Did you guess that one? Well done. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again next week for another Mrs. Ridley's Riddle. Have a wonderful week, everyone. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's... Wait, who in the world are you? I'm Super Digital Citizen. Ta-da! Super Digital Citizen? Are you from another planet? Nope. Can you fly? Apparently not. And why do we need you, Mr. Superhero? Think about it. Every day, kids post, share, play, create, explore, and learn all online. The digital world can be a sinister place. So I make sure that kids are safe, responsible, and respectful. Huh, I guess we do need superheroes like you. Yep, I'm all about helping us kids make good choices. That sounds like one tough day job. Sense says we can all be superheroes each and every day. What are your superpowers? Over the holidays, 324 students received a bronze mathematics certificate and 62 students received a silver certificate. Congratulations to the following students for receiving gold certificates. Aya, Rita and Aveline in prep. Agnes, Aiden, Anika, Durara, Anuka and Jennifer in year one. Noor and Luca in year two. Akirat in year three. Netra in year four. Poppy, Dasari and Jashnor in year five. Don't forget, boys and girls, to log on to Mathletics at home. And of course, have a great day.